Welcome back. It's Friday the 11th. Morning. Hey, Makoto-kun. I wonder why Shinjiro-senpai came back so suddenly. He has a lot of power. Yeah, I guess. It's kind of scary if you ask me. But it doesn't seem like he's rejoining seas just because he likes to fight. Hmm. Hello, Klaus. Bagahai lakam bakahabe. Are you ready? Then let's begin. Today we'll discuss the magic of the Renaissance. The Renaissance was a time when the arts and the sciences enjoyed a resurgence in Europe. Naturally, this had a profound influence on magic. Might be more accurate to say the two studies helped improve one another. As to why the Renaissance helped to further magic, it found a way to escape the rule of the church. By studying the teachings of previously forbidden sects, the knowledge of magic spread greatly. The Renaissance also brought about the revival of ancient Greek and Roman literature. Magical texts such as the Hermetica received new translations and study. Philosophy, natural history, alchemy, astrology. The book was filled with a wide range of subjects and could be called the Bible of magic. Just as science and astronomy have made strides in the modern day, so too has the art of magie. You can see this as the emergence of a great magician who applied the knowledge of the Renaissance. John Dee was a professor who advised the Queen of England, but the magical knowledge he had obtained he was able to talk to angels. Then there was Hohenheim, a doctor who traveled across Europe, became known as Paracelsus, a renowned physician and alchemist. Of course, a magician's life wasn't an easy one. Both men lived lives riddled with persecution. Are you all listening? Keep your minds down to earth. <laughs> Here's a test to see if you were paying attention. Get it wrong and your house will become irrecoverably haunted. Like a high, like a bahaka. Yep. Now, who should be my victim? Makoto, I ask thee. Which book helped further the art of magic during the Renaissance? Um, the, the Hemicatica. You know the one. I'm terrible with names. Oh. Correct. Back to your peaceful life. Magic at the time had a great influence on the church ruled society. Several magicians were involved with the central part of the Renaissance, the religious revolution. You gave the correct answer. Your charm has increased. Give me, give me academics. Class has ended for today. It's Friday. Hmm. Uka? Ah, Makoto kun, are you heading home? Seems like Fuku wants to talk to, to talk home with you. Yeah. Hi, Pixie. Hi, Pixie! Okay. Where should we go? Fuku seems happy. Uh, Iwoto and I strip mall. You left school with Fuku. You talked to her about your favorite foods. Remember when I told you I needed to get better at cooking? You do. You, you, you do. You do. Well, I've been cooking a lot since then. That's why I wanted to know what your favorite food is, so... I could make it for you, but everything I make still tastes terrible. Hmm, I believe in you. All the dots. Thank you. No one's ever said anything like that to me. Uka smiled bashfully. I'm not really a positive thinker. I always picture the worst happening. So I really, I'm really thankful to be a member of Seas. Everyone's been so encouraging. Especially you, Makoto-kun. That's why I want to show you my gratitude. Seems that Fuka trusts you. Your relationship with her has grown. Rank 3! Level 3, Persistus. Fuka considers you someone she can rely on. Your relationship is growing, but you're still just friends. Maybe I should watch one of those cooking shows on TV. And again, they're probably too advanced for me. Hmm, maybe I should just get a cookbook. There probably aren't any in the library. Well, we're, there's a bookstore over there. Go to the bookstore. I could, but... All the darts. I don't really like going to the bookstore. It's not a big deal, though. Fuka smiled wryly. He walked around the strip mall with Fuka for a while before returning to the dorm. All right, then. Oh, hey! All right. All right, so Friday, Friday, Friday. Back to our room. Get some studying in. Uh, yes. We know how it is. The 
12th, Saturday. Oh, what now? What now? Your cell phone rang. Good morning, this is Elizabeth. I'm calling to inform you that another human has strayed into Tartarus. This time, it's only one person. Please perform the rescue with all due speed. Particularly given that the human is an acquaintance of yours. Goodbye now. Yeah. Call ended. Morning. The next chapter discussing the problems of the Kamakura Shogunate. Kamakura is cool and all, but it can't beat the Sengoku era. Have we covered enough of this yet? I can skip over to the Sengoku era, yeah? Alright, let's take a close look at the Sengoku era from the beginning. As you all know, it's generally agreed that a major factor leading up to the Sengoku era was the Onin War in 1467. After that, the next big event in the Sengoku era's formation was the coup of Meiyu in 1493. Let's look closer at the Onin War in 1467. You feel tired. Close your eyes. Nope. Stay awake. Wow, it's, it's time already? Can't believe that went by so fast. We're only up to 1467, but there's still a lot to cover. Guess it can't be helped. Next time we'll jump to 1468. We stayed up and listened to the lecture. Yay! That's what we want. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Chidori's room at Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. No one else is coming today, but they said we can't give you back your evoker. I wasn't expecting them to. That's why they started watching me in the first place. Oh, how's that cut doing? Probably already healed, huh? So, uh, how come you're not drawing today? Does it matter? Well, uh, not really. It's something he likes about you. Uh, your flowers are all dried up. Must be the heat. Oh, I know. Why don't I go buy you some new flowers? What's your favorite kind? Chidori, what's the matter? <sighs> Chidori took the withered flowers and began to concentrate. <laughs> the flowers? The withered flowers in Chidori's hands began to flourish. Those are cut flowers, right? Wow, how'd you do that? I made them healthy again. I didn't know your healing powers could do stuff like that. It's like a miracle or something. It's nothing special. You have powers too, don't you? Well, yeah, I guess, but that's about all I've got going for me. Aww. Without that, I'd be a nobody. I'd just talk a big game, pretending like I'm some kind of hero, but in reality, I don't know what the hell I'm fighting for or why I'm here at all. Why? Why we are here? When I was a kid, I had this crazy dream. What kind of dream? That one day I'd grow up to be a pro baseball player. <laughs> Pretty stupid, huh? No, oh, come on, we all have good dreams like that. Come on. I guess that's part of being a kid. Is that so? I don't remember much from my childhood. All I remember is being surrounded by white. Huh? I hate hospitals. Yeah, me too. I'm sorry. But I don't mind that much this time. Since you come to see me so often. Chidori? Aww. I... I understand. I won't let you down. It's just... Cute in its own way. Strange way, but still cute. Still cute. Um, Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. I really want to try and get Chihiro sorted, to be honest. Makoto san, are you on your way home? Would you like some company? Power? Would you like to spend some time with her after school? Yep. Thank you so much. Chihiro seems happy. It's lonely by myself. Gekkan High School Main Lobby. All the dots. Chihiro is remaining quiet. And there is an announcement. Attention please. Sophomore Chihiro Fushimi and Junior Makoto Yuki, Student Council President, would like to speak with you. Please go to the Student Council room immediately. I repeat again, the President wants to speak with me? Don't tell me the President thinks I stole the money too. Hmm, don't worry, she'll help us. Right, uh, she will, won't she? Chihiro seems hopeful. If I talk to her, at least I won't have 
to trouble you anymore, Makoto-san. You decide to go to the student council room with Chihiro. Kekakun High School student council room. Good. You two are here. I apologize for the sudden announcement. The reason I called you here is... You think I stole the money? Shimi. I'd like to hear the whole story directly from you. Um, I... I... Makoto-san. Chihiro is asking you for help with her eyes. Oh. Hmm. I was going to say defender, but apparently this is more points. Wait and see what happens. Makoto-san. Alright, I'll be strong. Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah. Let her defend herself. Chihiro nodded firmly. I... I... Chihiro's lip is trembling. It's okay, Fushimi. It's not necessary... Not, it's not necessarily someone who's good at counting money who makes the best treasurer. I prefer someone who will work diligently without complaint. From what I've seen in the student council, Chihiro, it's obvious that you didn't take the money. Thank you, Miss President. I was just testing you. In a situation like this, I'm afraid you have to prove your innocence. We think you can do that. It's difficult to say this. I'll probably regret it, but... I don't think I can do it. Never be embarrassed of who you are. Allow me to take care of it. It's my responsibility as student council president. Give me a hand, will you, Yuki? Uh, alright. Well, yeah. I'd like to know more about Fushimi, and I've seen you two together after school. I want to prove to those who suspect her that even outside of school she behaves respectfully. Respectfully. Yes. Words. Yuki, I'll leave tonight open. Come to my room when you're free. Try not to be seen by anyone. But please wait, that means... You two will be meeting alone? I don't want to make things worse. Even in the dorm, there are students who spread rumors. No, that's unacceptable. I won't let you do it. Fushimi? Get away from him. There's no way I'll agree to that. If I can clear my name, it won't be necessary, right? I'm going to talk to the teacher. Alright. Fushimi? Get kicking high school faculty office. Chizero is drawing closer to Mr. Takenozuka. I clearly remember what happened that day. You had a bandage on your chin because you cut yourself while shaving. I handed the fee money to you directly. Expect me to just pretend that never happened? Calm down, Fushimi. Please explain or else... Sorry, it's all my fault. Or else someone important to me w Huh? Um... That day I had to stay late and I missed my train. Didn't have any money on me, so I used what you collected to pay for a taxi. What? I fully intended to return the money, but then I forgot. Must be getting old, huh? <laughs> it's not funny. Don't worry, I'll explain to the class what happened and return the money. So please forgive me, Chiori. I assumed it was just a misunderstanding, but... This is inexcusable. You call yourself a teacher. Misappropriation of public funds is a serious crime. I will report this immediately. Please don't. It's okay, Mitsuru-san. Everyone makes mistakes. If that's the case, then I'll... Let's go, Makoto-san. Okay, that resolved itself. Kekakun High School rooftop. Makoto-san, over here. Can you believe I went to the faculty office and said all that? Yeah, well done. I even surprised myself. Ha ha ha. It's like, so you are guilty. No, no, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Chihiro seems to be having fun. Remember what I said to Mitsuru-san? Get away from him! <laughs> I was worried what might happen to you and Mitsuru-san were alone together. I was so flustered I almost passed out. Pretty weird, huh? I've been like that ever since I was a kid or so my mother says. Normally I'm quiet and timid, but when it comes to something I care about, then I become aggressive. I have been talking to my mother about you, Makoto-san. And she wants to meet you. Would you like to come over to my house one day? You know, when you're not busy? You feel as if Chihiro has confessed her true feelings. Your relationship is stronger now. Oh my. Rank 9. The relationship with Chihiro has intensified. Oh, I still have to apologize to Mitsuru-san. And, um... I think I owe her an explanation. Excuse me. 
We just had to go back to the dorm. And I did. Welcome back. Hello. That was a busy day for us, wasn't it? All right. Quiz game should be available. At the mall. There he is, but we'll, we'll check on the quiz game. Yep. So we've got to be close, haven't we? Come on. Here comes the dog. Your room. You sense that familiar presence. Here he comes. Hi. It's been a while. Uh, hello. Three seasons have passed since we met. Time goes by so quickly, and many things change. Yet some things will always remain the same. Don't you agree? It's true? Yes. If you say so, then it must be. If I say so? Talking with you has stirred up certain memories. That tower, for instance. I've been thinking about it lately. I wonder... Will our relationship stay the same, or will it evolve? Or the dots. No matter what the future holds, you and I will be friends. That is for certain. What? Eris is smiling sadly for some reason. Got a stronger bond with him. It's very worrying. And it's very worrying you've not told anyone about the mysterious boy. The mysterious boy social link has reached level six. The power to create personas of the deaf O'Connor has grown. I'll come again. Until then, good night. Good night. Varus disappeared. The 13th for Sunday. There's no school today. It's gonna be no. Phone is ringing. No. Hey, Chikari, do you have a minute? No. Oh, sorry, I'll guess I'll talk to you later then. Chikari hung up. She seemed disappointed. No! No! Phone is ringing. Hello, this is Fuka. Do you have a minute? Uh, sorry, I'm busy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry for calling out of the blue. Fuka hung up. She seemed disappointed. No! Phone is ringing. No, Chihiro. No! No! Busy! She hung up, seemed disappointed, yeah. She will do. Because it's Sunday. And if it's Sunday, we want to see about Akinari, don't we? Um, the shrine. There he is. Oh, it's you. Why don't you have a seat? This bench is too big for me alone. It seems Akinari would like the pleasure of your company. Hmm. Would you like to talk to him for a while? Yes. Then this bench shall be our meeting place. Akinari seems happy. I'm doing better today. I know it probably looked pretty bad last time, right? I had been reading a book before we met that day. I got so absorbed in the reading that I forgot to close the window. I didn't realize how chilly it was. Do you read many books? Hmm, yeah, I like reading. I see. That's something we have in common, then. Akinari seems pleased. I read a lot of books these days. I find that they're the easiest ways to spend my time, since I can get lost in a book's private world. You read books all the way to the end? Well, if it's boring, I stop reading. I don't read the endings either. I think our reasons for doing so are different. I can already smiled. I rarely get into the story and usually reach the end quickly, but I never want to finish it. Because if I finish the story, I'll be stuck here again, alone, in my room. As Akinari, the person who can't escape his fate. Stories about hope, or heroism. Those are the kind of books I read. So hopefully, if I do decide to finish reading them, I'll feel happy at the end when I come back here. Akinari smiled weakly. Your relationship is stronger now. Bum, bum. Rank four. Level four. Sun. Time is ruthless. Looks like the sun is already setting. Hope we have another chance to talk. You decide to go back to the dorm. Evening. Hey. Alright. 
Right, so let's go study, study, study. Because it's Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Yep. Yep, we know. 14th, a Monday. You overhear a conversation. What is your class going to do for the culture festival? Haunted house? I bet yeah, I'll be stuck playing the ghost. Being ghost isn't so bad. Just show up and put on the costume. I have to do a magic show. By the way, did you hear a typhoon is on its way? It's a big one. School will be empty. Uh-oh. First bell is wrong. I'll be talking about nuclear fission today. Imagine a nuclear reaction in which a massive nucleus splits into smaller nuclei, releasing energy as it does. I believe you all know that much. The reaction emits massive quantities of energy, which is why it's used in nuclear power plants. You all know that Japan has three nuclear prohibitions in place, right? Let's see, Makoto. Which of these is not one of Japan's prohibitions on nuclear weapons? Um, can't let others produce. Correct! Ooh! You forbid possession, production, and admission of nuclear weapons within Japan. Third prohibition is a little controversial, but this is physics class, so not political science. Now, as for nuclear fission, you have the correct answer. Oh, what did academics? I mean, you know that by now. It's finally time for lunch. Oh, hi, Makoto kun. Thank goodness it's lunchtime, huh? Um, are you free after school today? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I see. Well, I was hoping you'd come see me after school. I'd like to spend some time with you. Well, hope to see you later. Who wants to spend time with you? Maybe you should go see her after school. Lunch break is almost over. You decide to return to your classroom. After school. Class is ended for today. Let's see. I think maybe, yeah, we'll do Fuka. Like, she's right there. She came to us, so... Oh, makoto -kun. are you heading home? Seems like Fukun wants to walk home with you. You've got here, Pixie. Spend time. Okay, where should we go? Fuka seems happy. The mall. You went shopping with Fuka. I apologize for taking so long. I had to go to the pharmacy to buy some special spices. I don't even know why, though. If I use them, I doubt they'll make any difference. Or the dots. I'm sorry you came all the way here. Fuka seems very apologetic. But it's my cooking still doesn't taste very good. It's not the way I make it, it's just... When I'm cooking, I, I think to myself, this isn't going to taste good. You need to change that attitude, that's what you do. And... I just stop. All the dots. I just wish I was good at something. Hmm... Well, you have a persona. That's true, but... Everyone else has something they're really good at. But... All the dots... Just don't have any talents. Well, that's not true. I, I guess I'm pretty good with mechanical devices. Not that that's anything to be proud of. Why, why not? Be proud of that. Because he seems embarrassed. My dad used to tinker with audio equipment in his spare time. He would repair speakers and headphones. I used to love watching him work when I was little. Probably why I'm so good with mechanical devices. But I don't think those skills are enough to repay everyone for what they've done for me. Why not? And even if they were, the Kurijo group could always provide us with anything we need for battle. Not to mention that I'm kind of embarrassed about it all. I mean, it's not a very feminine hobby. So? Oh, I don't think so. Oh, Makotoka. Oh, the dots. Thank you. Luka seems happy. You always... You always seem to be the one to... I tell my troubles to, Makoto. And yet, you're always so understanding. Help me to think positively. You're really supportive. Luka seems to trust you. Your relationship with her has grown deeper. Rank four. Level four, Priestess. Luka seems to be interested in you. Your relationship with her has intensified. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to talk so much. It's getting late. Let's go home. You decide to return to the dorm. Evening. Oh, hey! Alright. Hmm. Monday, Monday, Monday. Let's go study, study, study. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba 
There we go. Tuesday, the 15th. Hey, Makoto. Three left, eh? And the next one won't come for another three weeks. Man, why can't they just come all at once? That would be tough. <laughs> That's true. But with more people now, it should be easier to defeat them. Can't wait for the next full moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's his end for today. Let's see about Chihiro once again. Like some company. Walk home. Power. Yes. Uh, um, yes. Then, um, let's go somewhere for a while. Chihiro seems happy. Oh, this is gonna just be like a simple level up, isn't it? She can speak all day. Grow stronger soon. It's getting late. Such so to the dorm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Evening. Hi, how was your day? It was like I wasted the day, to be honest. I heard that Chidori-san is starting to open up a little. However, she's still uncomfortable talking about personas. Might take a while before she's ready. Oh well. We still have three shadows to worry about. So I'll concentrate on that. I'll be sorry they ever set foot into this world. Alright, mate, jeez. Alright, Tuesday. So. There he is. Oh, it's you, Makoto. Are you free at the moment? If so, I can teach you a valuable life lesson. Free of charge, of course. Seems President Tanaka wants to talk to you. Would you like to talk to President Tanaka tonight? I would. Oh my, you're enthusiastic. President Tanaka seems pleased. I'm used to being accosted by people, but recently I had an interesting encounter. It was with a young man not much older than you. Guess what he said. He said, thank you. Uh, oh, really? I don't mean to sound like a prick, but I couldn't and care less what customers think. President Tanaka seems a bit cocky. After all, we don't even sell real products. What? But then, he told me he quit his part-time job and was going to study to become a public prosecutor. He wants to punish businessmen like me for bending the rules. Said I was an example of a negative role model, as if. Maybe I'm overreacting, but what if he does become a public prosecutor and puts me behind bars? Lord knows what they'd do to me in prison. Would you still come visit me if I was in the slammer? President Tanaka seems upset. I feel like you understand him a little better now. Do I? I re again, I really don't feel like I do, but okay. If you say so. Level 8, devil. I want the shareholders to know about this. Apparently kids these days aren't as naive as we thought. President Tanaka left. 16th for Wednesday. You overhear a conversation. Did you hear? Kari's going to dress up as a maid for a, a cafe in the culture festival. Hey, are you serious? Why? What happened? She drew the short straw in the archery club. She's going to be pissed, but that's all the more reason to check out the cafe. The first bell has rung. Mm-hmm. That's his ended for today. Let's see... When we got around... Let's... Let's, 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 let's see about Yukari. Like, especially with the short straw stuff. Hey, Mikotokun. Are you walking back by yourself? I'll come with you. Seems Yukari wants to walk home with you. Queen Mab. Great, let's go somewhere. Yukari seems excited. The mall. Hey, what do you want to do now? Karaoke? Mommy, where are you? Mummy! A child is wailing. Hey, what's wrong? Are you lost? Mummy told me to wait here and, and, and she gave me money, but but she's not coming. The child is crying. Hey, don't cry. See, you're okay. I'll stay here with you, alright? Hey, look. Uh, we can get help over there. Come on, follow me. The policeman will know what to do. He'll find your mum, so don't worry. You left the child in the policeman's care. Phew, what a relief. I'm glad he was able to contact his parents. What were they thinking, leaving the poor kid all alone? It makes me so angry. But, I guess my mum's no different. Hmm. What makes you say that? 
You really want to know? Y yeah, now you've brought it up. Yukari seems to be watching your reaction. Sorry, I didn't mean to poke fun at you. What? You're poking fun? It's not on! Remember what I told you before? How my mum and I aren't very close? If you ask me what kind of parent she is, I'd say a terrible one. Oh. She wasn't always like that, though. After what happened to Dad, she totally changed. She's had more boyfriends than I can count, and she's even living with one guy. Honestly, I'd rather not know. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Keep this between you and me, Makoto-kun, okay? You're the only one I've told. Ikari has opened up to you. The two of you have gotten closer. Rank 3! Level 3, lovers. Seems like you have become somewhat... Someone Yukari cares about. Hmm, your relationship has grown more intimate. Sorry, I don't feel like karaoke anymore. Let's go back to the dorm. Yep, we, could, we decided to go back. Alright, it's quiz game. Welcome back. There are over two weeks until the moon is full again, and already the lost are increasing in number. We have to stop the shadows at any cost. Right, so one thing we should have a look at as well here is the bulletin board with details about the people who are missing. Someone new has been posted on the bulletin board. Look at them. Bunkichi. Yep. Right, there are missing people who haven't been rescued yet. Look at past missing people. I think I got all of them. I think I got all of them anyway. Right, so. You can see why we need to go get him out of there. As soon as possible, really. As soon as possible. Right, so. Yes. Right now, the games available to play are quiz game. Oh, come on. You'd think it, it's 17th. You'd think it'd get sorted by now, but no. You overhear a conversation? Bet there's a nasty typhoon on the way. Think we'll still have the cultural festival on Saturday? No, I don't think so. The way they're talking, the typhoon's going to be way too destructive. That's not good. I hope Japan doesn't become an undersea country. The first bell is rung. Lunch time. Finally time for lunch! I'm a -san. How was class today? I um, was wondering if we could get together after school. I think we'll do that. Sure. Then I'll be waiting. I want to give you something. Anytime is fine. Seems Chihiro has something to give you. Maybe you should talk to her after school. The lunch break is almost over. You decide to return to your classroom. After school. Class has ended for today. Alright, let's go see about, hopefully, maxing out Chihiro now. I'm a Are you on your way home? Would you like some company? I would like some company. Seems Chihiro wants to walk home with you. Power. Spend some time. Yes. Um, t -t today, Chihiro seems a little nervous. Would you like to come over to my house? It's a little far, but you have decided to go to Chihiro's house. They were told I, 3rd Street, Chihiro's room. You and Chihiro are enjoying each other's company. This is the illustration collection I wanted, remember? I bought all three. I blew my whole allowance, but it was worth it. This book was done by the same artist. Would you like to borrow it, if you're interested? Just promise to think of me when you read it. Thank you. No problem. Chihiro seems really happy. I've read it so many times that I've practically got it memorized. Obtained manga. It's getting dark out. Wait, my mother just called. She says she has to stay late at work. I've heard that there have been assaults on women in this area. I really don't want to be alone. Please stay just a little while longer. Don't make me spell it out. Please. What will you say? Lock your doors. Late. It's like, it's getting late. 30 minutes, please. Chihiro seems desperate. I want you to stay, Makoto-san. Oh my. I know I'm being selfish. Not like you, Makoto-san. You're such a great person. And you make those around you happy too. Wish I could have you all to myself. So please grant me this one last wish. Please, for this special moment, think only of me. Chihiro has expressed her love for you. Oh my. Max! That's the number one. Now would I and I am now. That was established a genuine bond. 
The innermost power of the Justice Arcana have been set free. You bestow upon me the ability to create, yep, the ultimate form of the Justice Arcana. Treasurer Social Link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Treasurer Social Link. Justice? Makoto Yuki has forged a bond that cannot be broken. Justice Social Link is at a maximum level. You can create that, the Hand of Justice. Makoto-san, so warm being near you. You share a tender moment with Chihiro. Evening! Welcome back. Hello. Oh, I think it's time for us to head to Tartarus. Yep. Mm, how can I help you? Go to Tartarus. Can you tell the others? They'll be waiting at Tartarus around midnight. See you there. Here comes the dark hour. It's gonna be the usual, by the way. I'll go off and get the Guardians sorted at the start of the next part. And we'll see about getting Bunkichi as well. So we'll see you then. Ta-da for now. <laughs>